Hey everyone, welcome to Avery's two month update. It's actually been like, it's really more of like her two and a half month update. I just cannot seem to get these videos in on time, but I'm doing it now and that's all that matters. And look how cute she is. She's in a cute little dress from Target with a little bow. I love dressing her up, it's so fun. So let's go over Avery. Let me pull up her stats from our most recent pediatrician appointment. Okay, I have them. So our most recent pediatrician appointment, she is 22 and a half inches long, so she grew a whole inch height-wise, putting her in the 48th percentile. And she is now 10 pounds, eight and a half ounces, which is 27th percentile, so she's very tiny. And her head circumference is the tiniest, it's 37 centimeters. 14th percentile for head. So she has a super tiny head, which makes sense because anytime I put any other big bows on her head, they're way too big. I have to do these little small ones. Otherwise, they just overtake her face. Anyway, about Avery, she is doing so good. She has started to sleep through the night now, which is so awesome. Last night, I put her down at 8.30 p.m. and she did not get up until 7.30 this morning. So totally sleeping through the night, which is so nice. She started to take naps in her crib. She'll do one or two long naps in the crib. Um, during the day, which is really good. She's still in the bassinet at night next to my room and not ready to kick her out yet. She also doesn't mind having naps in the stroller and her car seat if she's moving. She still does not like the car seat if it's not moving though. She also will nap in people's arms or she will also nap in her lounger as well. She has started to talk more and she is smiling more. Uh. I just have to say her name, Avery Brin, and she just gets the biggest smile. And she started to talk and lock eyes with us, which is so fun to see. She's just growing more of a personality. Uh. Eating wise, she's doing very well. She loves the boob. She eats all the time. She's getting rolls now, which is so fun to see. However, we are not on bottles still. She refuses any type of bottle. The most luck we've had is with this purple Lanisso, however you say that brand. She kind of sucks on it, but not really. So we're still working on the bottle thing, but she does great with the boobs. The biggest thing that happened this past month with Avery is we discovered she had a lip, tongue, and two cheek ties. So we went to the pediatric dentist and got them cut uh, with a laser. And so we've been recovering from that. Huh, Avery? She, I think she sees herself in the viewfinder. So we got those done and so we've been recovering. She was very sad the first day, but ever since then she's been back to her normal self. We do have to do stretches three times a day for three weeks. She does not like the stretches, but other than that she's been fine and it does seem to be helping um, with a deeper latch and she's not getting hiccups so often and leaking and different things like that. So if you want to learn more about her lip tongue cheek ties, go see my video about that. I made a video all about us discovering that and how we've been doing. We recently got this new play gym for Avery. I'm sure you've probably seen it on TikTok. It's the one that has the purple monkey song. She loves it and also so do my two older boys. They love to sit on or like lay on it too. But she likes it, it has little um, toys dangling that she can try to reach, which she tries to every so often and then she can kick the piano and make um, music and she likes that too. She has no problems laying down. She actually loves laying on the floor and being able to stretch out and then if you come over and say hi to her she just gets the biggest smile on her face and starts kicking like crazy. She has started kicking so much more which is so fun um, just seeing her come to life a little more. Avery can now roll from her belly to her back. So we do tummy time several times a day, like you're supposed to, and she hates it. But every so often, it's not every single time, but every so often, maybe once a week, she will roll from her belly to her back. Sometimes she gets stuck on her side, but usually she um, can do it or I will help her. 
So yes, she has started to roll a little bit and she also will scoot. If she's laying on the ground on her back, she will start to scoot a little bit um, across the floor, which is exciting. Like I said, she started smiling. She has one dimple on the side of her face. I'll input a picture here showing you guys. It's super cute and she's smiling a lot easier and a lot more now. And so we see that dimple a lot. God bless you. Avery still loves bath time. We still do it about once a week or sometimes twice if she's spits up all over herself or something but she loves bath time still which is really fun because my boys did not like bath time at this age she loves watching her brothers play i will input this video i just got yesterday <laughs> the boys were having like wwe fight time <laughs> on the couch and avery was just loving watching them play and trying to figure out like what is going on soon enough i'm sure she's gonna get roped into their crazy smackdown play time as well and it'll just be chaos <laughs> she loves being swaddled still we swaddle her for naps in the crib and also for bedtime and she loves being swaddled we have not had to take her arms out of her swaddle yet but i know that is coming soon enough she really is still a really happy baby she does love to be held and walked around and seeing things um, but she is content to just lay on the ground every um, so often, which was so different from our second born. He always wanted to be held. So it's nice and a little refreshing to be able to put her down, especially if I need to help the boys out with something. She is starting to get a little bit into a routine. She started to wake up at 7.30 in the mornings consistently. And then she will take like a morning nap for a long time have a little play time middle of the day and then she'll take another long nap. Doesn't really take a long evening nap. It usually would be like a half hour to an hour or so. And then she's usually up from about five, 5.30ish until her bedtime at like 8, 8.30. I've kind of strayed away from the seven to nine now. She doesn't really need it anymore. I mean, she's sleeping through the night now. She's got her days and nights totally figured out now. So it's really just like whenever I see those sleep cues at the end of the day, that's when I know it's her bedtime. But she seems to be getting a little grumpy. Um, I think she wants to eat some more. So I think I'm gonna try and feed her with the bottle and see if we have any luck. We try every day, multiple times a day with bottles. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how to get a baby to take a bottle, please let us know. She is just not having it and wants the boobs, which is fine, but my supply just usually doesn't run i mean it usually runs out after so so long so i'm getting a little stressed on you know being able to get her to take a bottle and also to be able to have some independence from her because right now she has to go around with me everywhere which is fine but i need other people to be able to feed her so if you have any tips and tricks please let me know but this is avery at two months two months old she is so precious and we love her and she's starting to really fill out. She's in zero to three month clothes, one month or size one diapers. She's just getting big. She's getting the rose and hopefully rolling some more now, huh? Can you say hi? Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> okay, I think that's going to be it from Avery. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.